What is going on YouTube? Fez of Fire Media, I'm back on YouTube. There'll be another video next Monday, a story video like this. Let me know who you want to see it out of low ski and dig that. Put that in the comments. So there'll be a new video next week as well. And then from next week, I'll be back on my regular schedule, uploading like three to five times a week again, but that'll be from next week. Enjoy this video and make sure you comment below who you want to see on the story next. If it ain't dig that or low ski, comment someone else below. As far as the intro and facts, Dutch Chavelli's real name is Stefan Allen, or maybe pronounced Stephen, but I think she's Stefan because Stefan the Don, which is his sister, he's aged just 26 and already blowing up. He was born in Birmingham, but um, was in between the Netherlands and the London in his childhood. He moved to East London when he was just 12 years old. A bit of an outcast coming from the Netherlands and being back and forth. Um, didn't really understand the lingo of the rappers, but he looked up to people like Tupac, uh, people like Eminem. He loved Lord of the Mics. And he began to sort of study these guys and start his own flow and his own approach to the rap music scene. Dutch Avelli was very influenced of music at a young age. Stefan Adon being his sister, they're both obviously huge musicians now, but from early were performing. Um, that obviously gave him a huge confidence boost when it comes to later in life pursuing the music industry. They was performing from a young age and it said also on a site that they was clashing each other in the evenings um, back in the day. Although getting influence from his sister taking off, Dutch Avelli has his own sound. He's really aggressive. The only person I would compare him to is maybe Pop Smoke, that crazy aggression, that, that drill 2.0 new wave. Um, I wouldn't say he really sounds like anyone. Um, he's very, very aggressive and he just goes in and that raw, raw aggression and his deep voice and that Jamaican descent influence he's got makes him a very different artist. As far as Dutch Valley's rise on the music scene, it would start in 2016. His debut track on the 18th of September 2016 was called New Jack City. It's on 300,000 views and was a good track for his debut song. He followed out with a song with Clue, who's a bit bigger today and at the time, they were both smaller artists. It got 200,000 views on October 2016 and it was called Rumours. Um, his next song actually come in April of 2017. It was called Speeding. That got 300,000 views. He had a song that year on the 25th of May as well with Footsie uh, called Stick, which got 130k views. Then he would follow up with a song on the August 2017 called Let It Breathe, which got half a million views. In 2017 was a big year for him. He had another track, 25th of October 2017, called Say Nada, which is on 400k views. That year, he was putting in a lot of work, um, really starting to take off. In 2018, got into some legal issues, which were slowing down. But two tracks still come out. He had a song called LOL, Laugh Out Loud, which got 2 million views. Probably his biggest track before he went inside. John Wayne also got released on the 24th of June 2016. And that got 300k views. This would be before him spending some time inside. And obviously he'd make a comeback after that. Dutch Avelli had put in all this work. And then he went inside. I've already made a video on what happened. And I would put in the clip now for you guys. To basically explain why he went inside. And then we get into his rise after he come out of jail. Let me talk on this case quickly. Basically, it was robbery charges, which he didn't get found guilty for. He bust that charges. The only thing he was found guilty for, of what I'm going to talk about, is trying to tamper with witnesses. Apparently, he said um, he tried to get someone not to give evidence or something, and he did get a sentence for that, but he already had time served where he went on remand, so it was sort of balanced itself out. Um, first of all, it was said he turned up to someone's house trying to rob cash, mobile phones and watches of a family um, with him and his friends all masked up with a firearm, with knives and a wrench. But apparently the gun was an imitation weapon is what people had said. Um, when he was in court, it was absolute silence, but people were actually celebrating because Dutch Avelli was literally on a come up. His sister could open so many doors for him and he almost found himself in a crazy case like this. Um, why he tried to get someone not to give evidence, I would never know. Um, whether it worked out and that guy didn't do it or what happened, but he was found guilty for trying to tamper with a witness and tell someone not to turn up to court to give that evidence. So in the end, he was only given a 22-month jail sentence for perverting the court of justice and trying to persuade someone not to give evidence. But he had time served against his remand. Sometimes you get arrested and you get sent straight to jail if you think you're guilty of the offences, which happened with him. He got remanded straight to jail before he got found guilty or not guilty with the robbery charges. So they obviously seen that and said, we're going to sentence you to 22 months, but where you didn't do the robbery, we're just going to release him. And that's what happened with that. Free my nigga do a life ten times. I my nigga Rino, what's good? 
He said, in the jailers. In the what, to my nigga? Uh -huh. Oh, it's precious. He said the connection is moving nuts. Uh, wait there, wait there. Wait like, there. reload, take your face off of this. You do. You, you, like, take your face off of this. You do to get a run up in the morning. My brother. <laughs> you do to get a run up in the morning, cuz. Don't cast, don't cast, don't cast. Bro. Don't cast. Bro, when man was on the wing of you, a man took a picture with a the man then. Man was getting run up on for that. Of course. That's what's gonna happen to you, Nah, nah my thing's secure. Man, I run up. My thing's secure. Man, I run up on five, six times, and I'm good. Oh, my <laughs> nigga. You know. It's safe to say Dutch Avelli come out of jail with a vengeance on the music scene. In the 19th of January this year, 2020, he dropped Only If You Knew, which is on 14 million views. He then followed that up on the 26th of March, dropping another track, uh, Surely, which is on 5.3 million views. Then his feature list would come and he would go crazy hand with the features. He obviously is on the track, I don't know, with Tion Wayne and Stormzy. That's on 16 million views, his most viewed track at this time. He then also had a track with M. Hunter. Show. Um, that's on 5.8 million views called Burning Noisy, a feature I did not see coming recently, just a month ago, on 10 million views. And Dutch Avery dropped another solo track two weeks ago, Black, which is on 1.4 million views. Just recently, Dutch and Veli got back in trouble with the police where I was worried a little bit. He was promoting the BLM movement, which was going insane. And police didn't want any UK riots to start here how it was in America. So they were suppressing the message from a lot of people, which I think was crazy. It's something we should all pull together on. Um, if we don't get the message out there about what these cops are doing, they think they could get away with it. A lot of people saying you shouldn't be writing, but that's the only way we get our message across. And I support the BLM movement fully. And I think rappers supporting it is the best thing because they've got huge influence over the scene to get to the young kids and stuff to get a message out there and to eat. even a lot of white youngsters all the mexican all these different countries and ethnicities they listen to all different kinds of rappers so the rappers promoting it is a huge thing um he talked on it a little bit on instagram but he couldn't go into too much in depth details about the case with the police whatever because you don't want to talk too much because they use it against you and um yeah it's good to see him stand out of trouble and hopefully hopefully he doesn't get in trouble with the police again and he stays focused on his music career which he's good at get me shit's getting breezy out here you get me but yo make sure everyone tunes at nine o'clock you get me i've got something coming with them on grand daily you get me I big up you. I big up everyone, man. That show man love, bro. That's brazy, bro. I'll be real, fam. That's brazy. You get me? 100, man. You get me? 100%, bro. That's brazy, blood. You get me? Shit, it's crazy, blood. You get me? Yo, I don't want to say too much, people. You already know, man. But listen, man's not wanted no more. You get me? Big up the BLM movement all the time, you get me? Big up all the men, them R.I.P. Fox. Times a million, you don't know. You get me? Rome, what going my brother? Zonas, my brother, you already know. Wretched. You get me? Yeah, man. The lazy, crazy few days, bro. Been a mad few days, though, I can't lie. You get me? India, big up. I right, listen. I'm gonna leave you not though, but you already know, man. Man's not wanting normal. Man's out here, man. Thought in the next year, already know, gang shit. Despite a few setbacks like many UK artists are facing lately, we've seen with Digger a lot of people going inside and coming back. 
Duchovelli seems like he's on the right path at the moment, focused on his music. He hasn't even used his sister's name at all, but I've heard they have got a track coming soon, which I'm excited for. Four years in the game, spent quite a bit of time inside as well, so you can't really count all four years. Um, and he's just really getting started and taking off and getting the recognition he deserves. An exciting artist. Good luck to him in the future, and I'm sure years from now we can make a part two on his success, and he'll be way, way bigger than what he is now. Subscribe for all the latest UK media updates and story videos. And um, I may leave some clips at the end. I may not if I can find any other footage or stuff on him. But um, it's early in his career, so there's not much stuff to go into yet. But like I said, he's starting to put out stuff on his own YouTube channel now. There's going to be a lot more character and substance to him in years to come to now. And I'll make a part two on this video. Thanks for watching this, guys. Who do you guys want to see next? There will be a video dropping next week when I get the channel back running fully and I get ahead of my schedule. There'll be a lot more content coming. Thanks for watching. Peace out.